profile option personalized self service definitions so that now I am able to see the personalized page link. Now the next thing I need to do is to create an attachment section. Okay, so I'm going to go to Framework Toolbox Tutorials Lab, Main Employee Search. I search on employee number two. Okay, when I search on employee number two, I click on update, and here I should be able to see a personalized page uh, link. Now, as you remember, if if you if you recollect, we are supposed to upload documents against an entity name and a primary key. Okay, in this case, the entity name can be any entity name that we would like to give and the primary key will be the person ID. So let's first find out how are we going to figure out which fields or which view object attributes are those where the information related to employee ID is captured. For that I'm going to click on about this page here. Okay, I click on about this page and uh, I expand all. So I can clearly see that the employee number is in employee full VO1 employee ID. Okay. So I'll just make a note of that. So the view object name is equal to this and view object attribute is equal to employee ID. Now I'll go back and uh, now I will create a personalized item. So I click on personalized page link and here I do the complete view and I expand all okay so I can create a new item of type attachment I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out here I can see here that the employee number first name last name email address all exist within the main region so I can click on this fellow here the create item link okay this is the create item link I click on create item link here and I will say I want to create an attachment table. We will come to the different type of attachment beans later on, but for now I can give it any name: xx, focus thread, uh, m, upload, attachment, id, something like this. And I can say automatic save equal to true, which means that even if the employee record, nothing in the employee record changes itself, but as soon as the document is uploaded, I click on upload, the document should get committed into the database. So I am saying automatic save equal to yes. And uh, the view instance in this case is going to be the view instance is going to be the employee full view one itself. Upload employee docs. Something like this. Okay. So what I've got is I've got I've given the attachment style to be attachment table item style to be attachment table I've got the property ID equal to this and uh, I have got the text equal to this and I've got the view instance name equal to this right I click on apply as soon as I click on apply I can see that this attachment table employee docs has been created I can highlight and I can focus myself into just this area which has been created now all I have given is the name of the of the view object on which this attachment is going to be based now I need to give two possible things one is the primary key and second is the entity itself. So I click on entity mapping. Okay, I'll give it xx focus thread upload entity id and I will give it anything xx fd uh, m attachments. This can be anything as uh, anything which is free text, but keeping in mind that whatever you enter here in the entity column here will be captured in this column entity name column against okay, FND attached documents okay so I've given this and I'm saying update allowed equal to true and insert allowed equal to true against this entity I click on apply 
Now I can expand this and this is the entity map that has been created and inside that I can create primary keys. So I click on primary key create item here. Again I can give it any ID that I want and the main thing is the view object attribute. I need to specify the ID that captures the transaction ID. Okay, I need to specify the view object attribute which in this case is employee ID. So if you recollect, the first thing we did was we specified which view object is it, okay, which is employee full VO1 and what is the primary key which can help us identify the document which is the employee ID. Okay, so I click on apply here and now I can click on create category mappings and I can just give any value here cat map and I can give miscellaneous here which means this is documents of type miscellaneous category and if I just recap the steps first what I did was to create an attachment table after I created the attachment table I created entity and the entity was xx and xxft emp docs something like that and then I created primary key and a category mapping now if I return to application I should see an option to upload the attachments so I can click on add attachment here I'll give test first pdf I can choose a file c colon temp art guidelines art guidelines okay so I have add, added the first attachment here and I can see that the first document has been attached right now I need to attach another document here so I again go in here and I say test I'll say first word document I click on choose file and here I will select this Microsoft Word document and I click on apply now I should be able to see two different documents attached against this. Right? As I can see here that I have got two different documents that have been attached. And uh, the next thing now is that we can check the database tables if this information has gone into the database. So I can do select star from FND attached documents order by one descending so I should be able to see the documents that I have, that I have just now uploaded okay so these are the documents on 8th of February 2010 and if I scroll I should be able to see the entity name okay so this is the XXFT MP attachment and these are the primary key which is the employee ID against which the documents have been uploaded